Hi, I'm Robin Jackman, and uh, I've, got, I've got a story I'd like to share with you. Nine years of boarding school and chapel every day kind of, kind of churched me out, if you like. But some, some people cared enough about me to, to ask me to a common ground breakfast, uh, which an old mate of mine and golfer, Peter Makovic, was doing a talk on, on life and faith. And about a year later, Peter asked me to go to Mauritius on a golf tour, which was very nice. On the tour was Tit Smith, the former Natal wicketkeeper batsman, who turned out to be completely surrendered to Christ. On the second day, I suspect by arrangement, he was paired with me. The first thing I saw on the golf cart was a Bible. I didn't think I'd played that badly the day before. At the end of the round, Titch asked me to sit quietly whilst he read to me Matthew 22, a portion of scripture in which Jesus compares his kingdom to a fantastic wedding celebration, a party we are invited to. Then Titch got a bit personal. He told me that I'd been invited, but I'd ignored the invitation. When I got to dinner, I was a little bit late getting there. I found there was only one seat next to Titch. I wanted to know more and asked him to tell me more about his road to, to Jesus, which he did, which I found really quite emotional and um, needed some time on my own. I went out onto the veranda. Now call me crazy if you want, but I will tell you what I saw as I contemplated this invitation from Christ into his kingdom. I looked out to sea and then at the full moon, then watched the clouds scurrying across the sky, and then I saw the clouds go behind the moon. The clouds went behind the moon. I know it's an unusual way for God to get someone's attention, but he certainly had mine. I jumped up and down for a while and I came back and I went to common ground, went to church a couple of times. I even put my hand up to be accepted by the Lord. And, and uh, but I never, I, I didn't follow it through as I should have done. Not that I shut, uh, shut the Lord out altogether. I'm, I enjoy Cliff Richard Gospel, and there's one particular song where he speaks of God's grace and in terms of undeserving people like me. Then, in September last year, I was diagnosed with cancer of the vocal cords. I'm a cricket commentator, for goodness sake. My livelihood was at risk. The diagnosis itself was a series of miracles. You see, a very good friend of mine's daughter is a qualified speech therapist and UCT lecturer, and she just happened to be on maternity leave, enabling her to watch more cricket than usual. And she just happened to have finished a specific course with her students on how to pick out a change in voice quality. She heard a change in mine and asked her father to call me and suggest I had a checkup. Cancer, grade one, the early stages. Two surgical procedures, three weeks apart, and seven weeks of radiation later, and I'm clear at the moment, and my voice is back. The door was open again. Losing my voice is how I started to discern God's voice, inviting me to take him seriously. I gave myself to the Lord. I, I, I now can say I am a Christ follower, which is a great feeling to have. I've learned the power of prayer. I feel so safe these days and at peace. There's no place I'd rather be than with Jesus. And I'm done with running from him. Finally, I'm learning the joy of surrender.